All right, guys, uh, oh, wrapped up for work. So now I'm just going to wrap up with the last of the prints for the fuselage. And uh, the only, well, in fact, there's only one bit after this that mounts onto the back of this is the uh, motor mount. So that's been sliced and um, I've done 10 top layers. This is where the motor mount will go on. So it needs to be fairly strong. Um, wall line count stays at one, the bottom thickness we're going to set at three, everything else is the same. So let's head that off over to Octoprint. My uh, bike is looking like it needs a ride, now the sun's getting better. Yeah, so we'll wait for the T's and P's to come up, temperatures and pressures, in case you're uh, not from the aviation fraternity. <laughs> uh, so that's good to go. That will print out um, two hours. So that should be around, around 8.30 or, well, actually, you know, 7 30 or so this evening. And uh, I'll touch base with you guys uh, tomorrow when I come back online. And uh, we'll get the uh, last bit um, to print out which will be accessories and it'll be the motor mount and with this one in order to get it to work you have to uh, rotate it around 180 degrees drop it and snap to the bed just yeah there you go orientate it make sure it's okay and the reason I've done that is so that where it builds up the layers it will build up a kind of uh, raft in its own right so rather if I flipped it if it was flipped around the other way there'd be a big gap here I'd have to put a raft in or also put some support in but the way to get around that and this particular part this uh, part is to turn it around so it'll print up from the other way around and then it'll build up the layers here so it'll have a it'll have a framework coming up from the wall here in which you can print down on top of these are things you pick up just through trial and error